Hello everybody, I'm Chris Soltz. I'm Dan Hitt. And we're here with a rather momentous edition of Box Busters. A little 2012 Momentum Football from Panini America. That's What's right. What's the breakdown on this? Well, it is a return of an old name from the playoff days. Right. However, it seems to be nothing like the old Momentum, Playoff Momentum mm -hmm. products. This is a $20 pack product, one hit. High end. So it costs you 200 a box which is uh, very high end, which is completely different than, uh, oops, you know, old momentum, but uh, I'm get all my packs here. So we should see quite a few high end cards in here. Yeah, it should be Every cool. Every pack should have something really cool to look at, so we will see. Yeah, if we can get, get all the packs out. <laughs> they, 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 the, the, yeah, the, the bottom panel holding them in fell apart. Mine too. Got, um, fell out of the slot when shipping, so they all <laughs> yeah. went boom. All right, well, I'm not exactly sure which brand this might replace for Panini this year, uh, but I know that there's a lot of rookie autographs, a lot of rookie photo shoot autographs, mm -hmm. so I don't know if Gridiron Gear will come back, but this is, uh, the cards look similar to Gridiron Gear as far as the rookie photo shoot cards, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not the same configuration, obviously a lot yeah. more expensive. On camera, these these base cards probably don't look that cool, but they're, the UV UV coating or the slight gloss in certain spots is actually pretty interesting. They are cool looking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I like didn't, them. I, I watched the Panini video and it didn't really show real well, but uh, they don't look as simple as they as they may appear. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a high end, definitely have a high end look. It's on a thick mm -hmm. stock, and like you said, in that, that white background, there's kind of a ghosted uh, momentum emblem that kind yeah. of looks cool. In there, so and the, the, actually, this this card I, I have my my rookie autograph in the first pack is a Vic Ballard out of three ninety nine, and it actually feels more of a suede kind of almost. It's not fuzzy, but mm -hmm. it has a hmm. a slightly different feel to it too. I guess the base cards feel the same way. It just it it, it, it doesn't feel like your standard. Gloss. It's not glossy. It's flat. Yeah, it's got a spot gloss on the front and kind of a flat background. It yeah. is it is really really cool looking. How about a Tyrone Crawford rookie autograph? That's one of my hits. Another one is Chris Gibbons rookie photo shoot, triple jersey autograph, print run, $5.99. Pretty large print runs on the rookie autograph, so yeah. uh, it'll be uh, easy to uh, collect a number of them. Actually, this one's even higher, $6.99. Yep. Dante Hightower from Alabama. I kind of like that with the high print runs on some products yeah. for the autographs. I, I don't like every autograph being low print run on everything. Well, it, even though it's a, it's kind of a high a high end price makes it makes a product a little tougher for most people to buy. But singles wise, it doesn't mean they're going to be impossible to collect. Yep, that's right. Yep, that's exactly right. It helps the singles market. I think here's a just a standard gold parallel number ninety nine. And I've got a gold Moshan Marino materials card, numbered of 199. I got a funny pack here. All wide receivers, all three. Two of the three are Colts, Austin Collie, Reggie Wayne, and a head of the class, Devier, Debrier, I can't remember his name. Yeah. Yeah, numbered out of 249. So three receivers, two Colts, and a Mem card. Okay, here's one of my hits, Rookie Team Threads, Brandon Wheaton. Cool. Yeah, number 199. It's hard to read those print yeah, on there. Yeah, definitely. The foil is always tough, so, or not always tough, but it can be tough. A lot of the times it is. Yeah. Especially when you get got a busy background behind it. Deshaun Jackson, D'Angelo Williams are my base cards to go with a Justin Blackman head of the class. Number 249 of 249, which makes it a one of 249. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say. Not a one of one, but people will claim it. How about a Jarius Wright rookie team thread dual swatch card? I've always liked multiple mem swatches on the uh, on cards. Just adds a little bit more to it without going too crazy. Here's an interesting card. Guy I wouldn't expect to see, but there are some old school inclusions in this one. How about a Steve Barkowski jersey card? Yeah, you don't see Barkowski very often at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's a he's definitely an unusual name when it comes to retired players. How about a Kendall Reyes autograph? Number to 
And they're it's also, a base rookie card. I don't know if we pulled any. I may have missed it. Got my first parallel in the box, a gold foil parallel, numbered out of 99. Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy, boy, he sure dropped off. Yeah. Yeah. How about a He's behind the guy who threw five Davin picks Mega. last week. Or yeah, four well, picks. He might, <laughs> yeah, he might get back on the field here pretty soon. Yeah. Serial number to 99, Davin Meggett. I've got a Pierre bad. Garçon, who was good for part of Sunday's game. Matt Schaub, and my autograph is a Jamel Fleming out of 799, so that the serial numbers keep getting higher. I've also got a, a 799 Rhett Ellison autograph, rookie autograph. So most of our autographs are rookie base autograph cards. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a few, I've got a couple of inserts that aren't base. And then I've got a few uh, mem cards just to hit. But. I've got a value collector card. Uh, I do too, actually. I've Mine one here. is a Brandon uh, Bolden Momentum Rookie Signature. I'll, I'll spare showing you the front because there ain't much to look at. All right, well, I'll trump you with my Kendall Wright. <laughs> uh, rookie Premier photo shoot, rookie autograph. There you go. Exchange card. <laughs> How about a Ryan Broyles triple jersey card? It's a... Uh, Numbered out of 599. This is a different design than some of the others. I guess it's my first auto jersey card. I wasn't really paying attention too heavily there, but there you go. Multiple swatches. Yeah, and for my final hit, a uh, player that's reasonably hot, head of the uh, class, Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson, serial numbered of 49. This is one of the uh, tougher parallels. That's cool. I'll show my final two hits at the same time, and the last one was pretty cool. First, a D'Angelo Peterson, numbered out of 7.99, and I have a prime jersey card of NFL Pro Football Hall of Famer Barry Sanders. That's pretty cool. Two color swatch. That that box ended on a pretty strong note, there, at yeah. least for me. Yep. Yeah. So. All right, in my 10 pack box, I got uh, six autograph cards and four mem cards. Let's see here. Standard mem, mem cards, no like super patches or anything. Yeah, I've got five five actual autos, a redemption, and then three standard cards and a patch card. So that's that's a pretty good breakdown. Real similar, yeah. Yeah, I mean, similar. you do have one patch. You yeah. got the best that Barry Sanders patch is the best jersey card we pulled. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, overall, it, it it is a high risk, high reward situation when it's twenty you know two hundred dollars a box. Yep. But actually, it's it is a hit in every pack, so it could be tougher to tell you the truth I mean it's you know there are boxes out there with twice the price and five cards inside so well if, you know. you're, if you're looking for hits and that's really what you're into yeah. uh, this is a, um, you know a fun product for you to yeah, break you get a bunch option. of hits you may not hit a home run right. so to speak on, on, on each box but uh, um, you'll at least have a shot at yep. some good yep. autograph cards and, and good patch cards yep and it's live now, which means it'll be live in the OPG in the next 14 days or so? Yeah, roughly two weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, roughly uh, two weeks. Hopefully you can track down some stuff just like this or better than this in your box. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Dan. We'll see you then. Adios.